Great stuff. Anyway, like we said, some of the, we've done this at the Christmas party on uh, London Street. Now, it's, it's a bit bank related, so unfortunately, most of the people here tonight do actually work for the bank. So, um, if you don't understand it, thank you very much. Yeah, if you don't understand it, that's just tough shit because in fact, they start party. What's a bit about that one there for you? Never mind. Here we go. Okay, right then, here we go then. Who have we got in tonight? And let's, uh, let's start off with, um, I think, has we got anybody here from Prince of Wales? Right, give us a big cheer. One or two there from Prince of Wales. Not too many, are we? What about uh, Banjo Road? Anyone from Banjo Road? Some loud man to talk from Banjo Road. Good God, anyway. What about uh, West of the Biggest Chair? I know we got a big chair for this one. Who's here from Senior Manager Office or Corporate Banking Group? Who's here from North City Office? Anyway. Of course, um, right then, the Lloyd's Business Centre, as you know, what happens nowadays, of course, is that we have buffets. We have played buffets every bloody day of the week, I tell you, it's bloody crazy. Yeah, oh, there's quickly down there, so they go with it. What happens, at, if you don't know, what happened when we went live as a business centre, what happened was, we decided to invite every sod under the sun to come to a buffet. And nowadays, if you work at Senior Manager's Office, which is where I work, we have, um, we, have a, we have a bloody buffet every day, organised by David Much, is here somewhere. And what actually happens is, somebody's snoring here, who's that? <laughs> Thank you, Rob. <laughs> what is, okay then, so what actually happens is, and if you've got to know how to handle the buffet, because what's going to happen is, everybody in the business centre is going to get invited to the buffet sometime. So you need to know how to deal with it, because there's a lot of important people there, of course. Now, can I have Mr. Mike Hart out here? He's going to give us a demonstration on how to deal with a buffet. Come on, Mike. Okay, now what you've got to realise is that when you get invited to one of these buffets, you have to know how to shake hands properly because you have to mix with managers and the like. And you have to put on the bloody posh boards, or else your chance for a program to run out of the window. Right then, Mike, so this is what we do then. When you first walk into the buffet, now each and every one of you who works at the bank will eventually get invited to a buffet. And, we, and me and Mike, we've been to several, we know how to behave. So you just watch us, we'll demonstrate how it's done. Here we go then. Well, hello, Mike. It's Mark Stu here today. What sort of a... How, how do you think the business end is going? I think we're going marvellously well. <laughs> Mark Stu, I think not. How do you think we're going much as making marvellous job? Marvellous job. Marvellous job, yes, that's really marvellous. And I think we're increasing customer growth and sustaining, increasing our profits in all sectors. <laughs> Are you a golfing man? <laughs> golfing man, that's like... Yeah, 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 you join us. Yeah, there you go then. Good, good shot, sir. Nice, all right. There you go. Did the Peter Ellis for you. Marvellous growth. Marvellous growth in all segments of bank. That's out of the way. Thank you very much, Mike. Okay, we'll do it with that. Yeah. That's out of the way, but because, you know, you've got people like Lord Borman. Did you work... Anybody there when Lord Borman visited the bank? Yeah, yeah what, a, what an interesting guy he was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he comes up to you and he says something like, You like to light them? Are you like to light and do you work in the area? Or have you, have you been here long? An interesting question. Thank you, George Borman. He's a chairman of the bank, if you don't know. He's a fantastic bloke. Right? <laughs> I don't know. So, I mean, you know, you, does he give a toss where you work, where you live, or where you come from? I don't think he does, but he answers the same, he says the same questions every bloody time. It's a total waste of time. You like the lad, then you like, well, he comes from you teacher. You teach, I know well. He has a marvellous part of it. Yeah, very well. I think it's just a, a, just a total, total bloody waste of time. Anyway, that's, that's the buffets for you. All right then, let's, um, let's change the subject a bit. Who went to the football today? Anyone went to Portsmouth? I doubt it. There wouldn't be in there. Anyone went to Portsmouth? We've got, a, we've got a two all draw, didn't we, old Birdie Biggins? He was there in the last minute. Right there, thank you very much, Birdie. Brilliant, wasn't it? And it's weeks well, I suppose we've got a really good one. Yay! We've got another match in great news. We've got some great news. We've got Mike Hart, we've got Tim Powell, there, because Rob behind us, a big Ipswich fan. Of course. All right, mate. <laughs> penalty ref, the Man United game, it was definitely a penalty. We was there. While I was there, while I was there, it was never was penalty. Anyway, if you've been to the football, you know, what do they say when the goalkeeper puts the ball on the spot and he takes the kick? Anyone been to Carrow Road? You know, you don't have to go, you don't have to go. I mean, you've, you've probably seen it on the television. As soon as they take the goal kick, what do they say? Cookie, what do they say? Yeah! Shit! 